Hey, so the November issue of Forbes Africa is out. It's the 100th anniversary issue. It is a must read. And I know you keep saying, but Caroline, you say that with every issue. No, you don't understand. So before I actually get to the big part, I want you to um, also know that your Forbes Africa issue comes with a focus on Nigeria. Okay. Um, by the way, you know me, I'm a Kenyan, so I'm always asking, when is there going to be a focus on Kenya? Because Kenya is all kinds of awesome and we're writing history. I'm sure the rest of you are watching Kenya saying, did you guys do two elections in like three months? Yes, we did. We're those guys. So I'm hoping very soon there'll be one of those amazing, you can't get enough of this, you know, focuses on Kenya in Forbes Africa. Also, Accenture has done an amazing innovation supplement in the current issue of Forbes Africa. It is worth reading because the Innovation Index 2017 is also in here. And what I found fascinating about this little piece, huh, because this is something you take with you and you know, hang out with, is learning from leaders making innovation strategy happen. You know, a lot of people know how to tell you what innovation should look like. Very few people actually do it. You've got to grab this. However, the 100th anniversary issues of Forbes Africa is all about, for me, the conversation that is happening inside. And this is the conversation and lessons and ideas by the 100 greatest living business minds. So let me put it this way. If you've ever thought, I wish I could be in the same room as Bono and P. Diddy and Bill Gates and Richard Branson and also in the same room as Sheryl Sandberg and be able to ask them, how does it work? Forbes Africa has done a fantastic job in making sure that the 100 business minds are captured in here and their thoughts are available for you to actually keep forever. If I was you really, I wouldn't just get a copy for myself, but also get a copy for the people who matter to you. Do you know how lonely it is to be the only thinker in a group of people? And guys are always sitting there saying, it will never happen. However, I must say, thinking big, bombardier, conversation with Juan Dangote, a man who says and claims that using aircraft is key to running his corporation, whose operations now span 17 African countries. In terms of getting there and getting out, we can cover at least two to three countries in a day. How does he do that? The man has an office in the air. I know. So, you know the way you've been telling yourself, 2018 is the year for me. Why don't you start by reading this? Put all your dreams and plans on a piece of paper. And then at the end of the year, look again and see whether you're closer to making the Forbes 100 list. Okay? It's a fantastic read. Get yourself a copy. As usual, I always have about 10 copies in my office. Ask me and I'll make sure you can come and pick up one. Uh, and a lot of people have actually picked up, you know, the last few issues. All right? Great. Thank you.